The last time I did an over-engineering collaboration for a video was back in July of 2020 with Reed Captain. Since then, we've kind of gone our separate ways and my style of over-engineering has just become too eccentric for our styles to really match anymore. And it just doesn't really match anyone else's for that matter. I couldn't really host any new collaborations or over-engineering videos for more or less the past three or so years. But... There is one person that, for quite a long time now, was good at matching my style. What the frig is this one? That's... what? What? You're not big and you're not clever, Palfly. Wait, you are pretty clever. You, you might be big. It's a Palfly special all the way down there. Wait, what the frig? How did it move in those two different directions? My brain just exploded. There is no way. What? Oh what my is that? god. What is that? you I think you'll like this, Hayden. I hate it. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I take it back. <laughs> I love it with my whole entire heart. Palfly has now become one of the more proficient and well-known over-engineers in the community. And about a month ago, on our birthdays, we met up. Alright, cool. So, which level should we actually do? I have no idea. No idea. One we haven't made yet. What have we not made yet? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> let's look at the Discord. There should be a list, right? Yeah, we have a list. So two, three, four, five, seven. I think Luna is working on World Six right now. I mean, what's uh, three again? World, uh, three. World Three is five. Right? Five. What's that? So that is semi slope. Oh, that's... yeah, that's uh. Uh, how in the world do we start this? <laughs> I already did, um, across and then up. Uh, Kila did up and then across. Yeah. So what's left? I guess we could go diagonally, but that's kinda... generic. Sign. <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay. Uh, do we have a strong enough sign mechanism? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Oh god! I mean, I had a sign mechanism. Yeah, yeah, the, your sign mechanism. I was talking about like it's a, it's the one with the Chevy Chev and yeah. and the circle. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Would that be strong enough? How would you even approach? Oh god! How would you even approach this? Oh, actually, okay. I don't know if this is a. I'm gonna sketch this out. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. What is it? Uh, kind of like steps, like really, really big steps. So, like, you know how like um, what is it? Those. Those ship locks that go yeah. like that go up in st in steps, or kind of like one of those marble elevators, is probably more after it. You would have one that would go up like this, and and then you can continue driving, get stuck on the next step, and then that one goes up, and the next step that one goes up, and then that just keeps going. I guess you can have all of them be in opposite uh, phases. So this would be already in the up position, this is in a down position, and then they can all be connected together. And you know, it would be more impressive. What? I mean, very much harder. So the first one is down, the rest is up. Uh huh. And then, basically, as a counter one for the first one, uh -huh. you use the second one going down and the first one going up. Oh and then my you use god! For the second one, you use the third one. Oh my god, that's actually. But how do you start? <laughs> wow, okay, that. This seems like quite something. <laughs> this seems like something that is worth. Um. Oh boy. Uh, so it's going. So it's the same motion going up in that case. So the truck. Yeah. If, we, if we just draw the cape, if we draw a cable from the middle of the truck, it goes from here to actually. How many spaces can I actually do? Like, I think it's four. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. Uh. So. So that would be that would be our our room for error in this case. This one kind of boxed in section of the truck, and then we're gonna have. So then this truck is gonna go from here to here, goes up. How many times can we go up though? Oh, is it exactly ten meters? Oh, is it ten meters? Oh yeah. wow, that's actually perfect. Wow, that's surprisingly good. Two point five, two point five, two point five, two point five. Nice. So that's the proportions are fairly simple. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> do you want this already in the up position or? Yeah, exactly. So, do you want it to be at the top staircase or do you want it to be even higher up? Good question, because if you if we have it higher up, we can use more leverage 
to won't need as much additional counter weight. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna first mark out where how high it needs to go. So this is 2.5 meters, right? Yeah. yeah. So it just lifts 2.5 meters. If we if we're assuming <laughs> that we just want to lift the absolute minimum. Yeah, I think that's the easiest way. Right? Uh, so you have. Said uh, for the first one, uh, we fix this point. Yep. And move both of these. Uh huh. Um. Then we'll need a pentagraph that starts off here. Initially, this point can move. Oh my god. Oh god, that's actually really hard, but I actually like that. Uh, so, uh, at the start, this point can move, this can. So when you so, uh, pull down here, this will go down, we'll have to fix this point in place. Uh -huh. uh, so these will, uh, these two will move. I think I think we can fix that one in place with an over center linkage in that case, because I don't I don't want to deal with um what is it called? I don't want to deal with a release mechanism for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think it'd be a little bit cleaner if we actually started with this one also upwards in an upright position? So we have this start also upright and then just have a stopper here. True, yeah. So then it's also gonna be modular. So do you wanna make it timing based or truck activated? I would say I would say perhaps have the truck activate things but still allow certain timers to do certain circuits. No, it actually is locking in, it's just locking in with a time. Yeah, clock. locking in with yeah, we don't need the timer for that. So Let's, I'm gonna save this because I want to actually at least prototype this. Because, oh my god, I don't want to prototype with a truck. <laughs> I am not prototyping with a truck. Okay, so what you just watched was the both of us brainstorming an idea for 3 5. To get people on the same page, this is what we're planning to do now. There will be four platforms which the truck will embark and disembark, similar to a series of boat locks side by side. Though, instead of water, we'll use weights to lift the truck up. Initially, we plan to just lift the platforms either by alternating all of them at once or by lifting just one at a time. However, we came up with another idea. Two adjacent platforms will move together such that they meet in the middle. The exception to this are the sides, as they don't have any adjacent platforms on the outside. To get two pairs of platforms moving at the same time, we'll use a linkage called a pantograph, which serves to lift one side while dropping the other at the same rate. In order for this to occur, however, we'll need to allow for the pivot point of each pantograph to be adjustable. So how do we achieve this? Well, so suppose that we have a miniature scale. Actually, you know, let's do full scale, but just without any weights. That, and it was two meters down? 2.5 2 meters. Okay, so that would mean. Oh, first of all, actually, uh, because this is gonna be the top, right? Yes. This is gonna be the top the, position. This is, this is gonna be the top position. If we subtract 2.5, that goes to this bottom section. So yeah. it goes, it goes, this one goes from here to here. Also, yeah, we should be fine again. <laughs> so this one goes from here to here, in this case. So that means, I'll just use it. Oh. Uh, I'll just use it as an indicator. So that means that we want to have this start off in this upwards position, right? Yeah. And this one is also starting in the upwards position and it wants to end up down here. That means that we cannot, actually no, we can. Because I was, I was thinking like, how do we add the wall? Because I don't want to deal with building a carriage with a release system. I, just I mean, we, can, we can't just make the wall static. Yeah, that's what I was, think I was thinking about. I was like, how do we make the wall static? I mean, well, wall. I mean, you wouldn't even need it up there, right? You just have it uh, yeah, to this point. Yeah, true. You only, you only need that much. And then, so we'll leave that off to the side there. And then we gotta now figure out how to prototype this. So we have a 14 polygram truck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how heavy is this actually? Hang on, how heavy are these trucks? Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> okay, 21 polygrams. Oh boy. 
All right. Uh, so we gotta start off. So that means that we're gonna have to figure out. We we I said I didn't want to have a locking or a release and then a relocking mechanism because that's like a mess. For this one, for example, this would be the second level. You would have to release it so it goes down, and then lock in place, and then release again. I guess. Actually, no. Do we want this to lock back in place afterwards, or um? Or should we? Because the pantograph is the pantograph is also going to be locked in place. So unless we don't want the pantograph to be uh, locked afterwards, I mean we don't really need any movement afterwards, huh? Because I mean if the pantograph is free afterwards, yeah, yeah. So, so we it just starts have like to, this, and then so we have to either yeah, you know, that's it. And it's not set there. There you go. <laughs> you have to either lock and unlock the pantograph, or unlock and lock the platforms. Wouldn't we have to, if we lock and unlock the platforms, wouldn't that mean we also had to lock the actual pants wrap themselves? Or at least we had to unlock the pants wrap, sorry. Because if it goes into this, if it starts in this position, right, and this goes down to this position, let's say, actually, to make this easier for ourselves, so it's easier to visualize. Uh, and then we're gonna have a halfway point here. It's right of the thing. There we go. This is gonna be the same pants wrap, considering max length. Improve that later uh, because I know it's not fully precise. So that would mean that uh, we lock, we, we end up locking it in this position here after we go down, and then they both move around this point. They both they both move so that so that they line so that they end up lining up together. Exactly. And then the pentagraph has to unlock. Yeah, it has to unlock so that the next one can go up properly. Yeah. And we would also have to lock. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so complicated. <laughs> We're making this so complicated. But you know what? This is worth it. It's a big. It's a big level. We may as well go big or go home. Which we might have to go home and then. Come and then <laughs> we have to go home and then we finish it. <laughs> so it goes down, locks in place, and then it goes back up to the original spot. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna so be we really hard. do have to lock. Oh no, we really do have to lock it then, huh? I mean, if you just use the the normal lock, the simple one, the mechanical lock. True. They're quite easy to unlock. You just need to pull them up. Oh yeah, good point. So you, what you would do is that you would, let's say it's this bar here that we're gonna make a straight line out of. Let's also, see. question: hmm? What are we gonna guide linearly? I guess we need to guide because we don't need really need to guide the uh, pantographs. Yeah, no. If we guide all the platforms. If we, if we guide all the platforms, yeah. yeah. Which is probably a smart word. How should we guide the platforms themselves? Because it only needs to travel 2.5 meters, so it doesn't need anything to, like. Yeah, big it's and bulky. just a lip king. Yeah we, probably, yeah, we could probably yeah, we could probably just do a pair of lipkins, so Yeah. I like how this is just still over here. <laughs> so let's anchor this in place, just for demonstration purposes. And then we have the other one. I'm gonna also add cable so that it prevents it from uh, floating on itself. Alright, let's start. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, but how do we... how would we... Oh, right, of course, because this, we're locking down here, we're not locking up here. Because, no, uh, we're locking in the... Yeah, I know, but well, I, I originally actually had a plan to have just a, an extension going down to here. Oh, okay, to so pull it. To pull it, yeah. Good idea. I only like did that as a, just to see what would happen, but... Turns out that it actually was needed. So that would be where we put the weight. Let's do. Um, we can make it roll weight. Yeah. Hmm? We can make it roll weight. 
Oh yeah, I've gotten so used to what is it? <laughs> I've gotten way too used to to using these ones. Yeah, like that. I completely forget that roads are a thing. Okay, sure. Actually, it's, I think it's better if I do this to a different type of road weight. This type of road weight is actually a lot heavier. Mm. The extra bonus, it's an extra bonus weight for each road. Good start. That's a good start. It holds up. It's fantastic. This needs to... I actually think that this only needs to be... Like... Oh, oh boy. Uh, add position... Y... 0.125. Okay. And then we need a... I guess we can have a counterweight in the, for the middle of the pendulum uh, to uh, slow it down, the falling at the start. What if we counterbalance every single one, just so that they all passively don't... they don't contribute to the, to the weight themselves. So let's actually try to balance this out. Oh my god, how many little do I need? How little do I need? Okay. I actually want to do it on this side instead. Do that here. It should be moved up here. Oh, put this down here so it doesn't mm. it's, it doesn't contribute to the, to the stress. Yes, there is no water right now. Um, okay, so we kind of have. So the, this does lock in place, which is good. And all we have to do is just have what is it, some, something here that, that will that, will, that you can yank back up, and then or at least y yank back up to the upright position. So that this uh, when this is in this position, uh, it will stay in this position, and then and then the the pants grab itself can move. Mm. First of all, I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna first like just ahead of time prepare the. The actual locking mechanism here. Perfect. So that that just locks in like that. So now, um, uh, okay. So that means that we now have. And that's the starting position. That'll be the starting position. It's already so, in the starting position. Actually, why is it already in the starting position? Probably because the pantograph has a tiny bit of weight that forces the left side oh, down wow, first. Oh wow, really? Huh. Yeah, if, if you look at it. Both oh, yeah, go, both yeah, go that's down, yeah, that's but the left faster. one goes faster the, and then oh, it locks in. And so then oh, the oh, that's so weird. Oh, that's just... Oh, that's, that's kind of weird, but also kind of cool. <laughs> that's neat. Okay, so now... Do the rest. <laughs> So how do we? Oh, add it. Uh, how do we? How are we going to add the rest you have of to these? Right up, right? You're right. Uh, here. All right, the one isn't on the grid. Yeah, I'll have to fix that in just a moment. This and this. Okay, now I just like both. There. I cannot see that cable. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. cannot see that cable, so I have no idea if it's actually there or not. But yeah, those are all of them. Ooh, but they actually. Oh, but they all have different. They all fall at different rates. Uh, I guess I'll add a weight to each of them, so that they so that they naturally have a tendency of wanting to stay upright. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more weight. Okay. Uh, can I remove one? No, that okay. That's pretty much the the max. I mean, technically you could adjust it more, but no point really. So in that case, is this already in the bomb position? No, it no, needs, it needs to it needs to have a weight. <laughs> Just drop a weight. <laughs> but it wouldn't have a weight. We'd have to drop it off first. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a bit. I just wanted to make sure that. Oh, wow, that's, that's a little bit heavier than I expected. So like, suppose that we had a weight underneath, well, we'll just simulate it with this. <laughs> I guess we won't. <laughs> Let's try that again. We will simulate it. The custom shape does lock in place, uh, or at least the custom shape pushes this down. That locks it in place. And then... We would need... We are developing technology on the spot. <laughs> 
So, suppose that we have a wait. I have a weird idea. <laughs> Go for it. Send uh, it. What if you have a... Uh... Oh, but I don't know if... No. That would mean we need, we'd need bigger weights <laughs> to just make that one weight. Oh my god, it's, it's, go it's going to just be... <laughs> it's gonna be like the rocket problem. In order to carry the payload into space, you need rocket fuel. In order to carry the new payload, you need new fuel to carry the fuel and the payload. Yep. <laughs> and then you need fuel to carry the fuel, which carries the fuel, which carries the payload. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna build a pantograph. I don't even know why I put the pantograph there. Uh, uh, put. I was thinking when when the when each platform comes down, have a lock in place with a lever. So then the lever has a counterweight on it. The first three is going to have a counterweight which counterbalances the truck, and then you can add a tiny weight on the other side, like a platform. So, mm. you can, so you can have this at the bottom. This is going to come down. It locks in place with a counterweight that weighs the same as the truck. Oh. The truck goes here, and then when that when that gets released, at the same time as a teeny tiny weight on that side. That that lever on the left is going to counterbalance the truck, and then the big lever has just a tiny weight against nothing, essentially. Yeah. Just turn the truck into a feather is basically the end You can look at them closely enough yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> but then, if, you, if we do it like this, uh -huh. uh, we can just unlock this and it will go up, right? But the problem yes. is, if we push it up, mm -hmm. we might need a weight on the middle of the pentagraph because the middle of the pentagraph will want to go up as well so i think it's oh wait but isn't isn't there a, isn't isn't this locked in place though this oh would yeah be locked, this would be locked in place so right. i have no issue it's just that this would need to unlock afterwards so yeah, these are they're probably, yeah the 21 polygraphs are perfect so i will i would say that thing. i already put rolls there by the wall oh okay that's great nice it's spring loaded as well <laughs> yeah i like how there's just, there's just a falling road right there <laughs> 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 okay. What the f Oh, it is swinging. What was that? I, th I, I, I that's thought awesome. it somehow flew up there. <laughs> it got flung. Yeah, this is fine. That's totally normal. That's that's just that's just your average Tuesday. Okay, so we need. A f I'm gonna add a weight here on this side because it needs to be able to come down at least. Okay, no, that is it is actually heavy enough. Then. Okay, so we need to add a bit of weight so that it can come down, and then we'll have to counterbalance that with the same amount of weight on this side. <laughs> these these counterweights. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so. 
Yeah, so this is this is gonna be enough counterweight for it to go down properly and just lock in place. And then this needs to be unlocked afterwards. So. Yeah, I mean we could just for the test here because it's not moving yet. And we could just do it with uh, checkpoints, right? Oh, right. We, we because can... I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the timing itself won't be too difficult, right? It is tedious, but it's yeah. Zero, set to ten. Actually, do we need this spring loader, or can we just? Oh I... wait, are you are you just making it so that it rides on the edge on the actual edge of this, on like the top part of this? Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> wait, I... <laughs> wait, what are we doing? I mean, he could probably make it over, right? If I can, yeah, you're right. <laughs> if I can do that. It's a truck. You should be able to. I guess, like, one way is the spring-loaded method, but another way that I was thinking... Yeah, I mean, like, you would have to have the mechanical lock in the end, because... Yeah, so I was thinking, what if we just instead just do something even simpler, just, uh... Passing like this. Yeah, so it will drop into this position and stay here. My problem is that it actually conflicts with this. Uh, I guess alternatively, we can... Wait, why have it so high up? What do you say? What have I said? I mean, we was? only need to roll to here, right? This is the top position that the road needs to be at. Oh, right, so have half of, uh, half of 150, or half of... Eh, whatever, we'll just do that. Um, so just in, I guess, something like this, probably do fine. Actually, the biggest concern I have, though, would be the truck is probably going to shatter it. That's still too high, right? Hmm? That's too high. The, this is in the top position, now. Oh! So it right. needs to be here. You're right, you're right, you're right. We could make the bottom road fixed and just let the top road fall into place. Then so we can make the... Something like this, where that falls into place. Like yeah, that. and then we can make a road be, uh, below them. Mm -hmm. That's strong enough, or with springs. Oh, that so, lights up actually quite cleanly. I would say... Uh, something like that. And have that be a shock absorber. Because this one's not gonna deal with a big amount of sudden force. Yeah. This one is going to though. issue even if it because that's definitely more than enough clearance for a truck yeah. or at least that's more than enough clearance for the front of the truck to not go under uh physics set it to time delay of 10 three four ten okay so it's about six seconds nice and does that <laughs> okay that might need to be increased a little bit so that it handles that impact a little better <laughs> not quite what i have in mind <laughs> just put the cable on the other side at least Oh, put the cable on the other side. That works. That? At least one break. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But now the spring breaks. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I forgot how bad trucks are to deal with. That flipped over. How does that handle it? Okay, better. But now that breaks. So, how to deal with that? Um, I mean, if we have the two straight line linkages instead of at the bottom and here because this way it's quite easy to introduce a force like this uh -huh. if we have it sideways and link them together it oh. might work better oh yeah okay so so have them kind of like yeah exactly <laughs> oops so have them kind of linked here should just screw it use a camp linkage uh, <laughs> it'll go perfectly fine uh there and then move this up to here then link them together with this oh wow they're actually distance apart. Yeah, that, that solves it perfectly. <laughs> nice. I mean, if you if you still have the linkage at the bottom, you might not even need to connect them, right? Oh yeah, because that's already that already forms a triangle here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That that is perfectly fine then. Uh, that will mean that I need to do a bit of adjusting.
Okay, so now let's, so add, now let's add checkpoints. So we'll add a checkpoint here with the trigger sequence, then add a hydraulic phase controller. Let's pretend that this is the release. I'll release both of these so that it doesn't accidentally click back into itself again. Well, I mean, if it tip the top, it doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. It's a heavy counterweight. Wait, is that a... is this steel? It's steel, yeah. Oh. But it's like, wait, no, leave it at the bottom because uh, the lock works. Oh, Just right. copy to okay, the Okay, then copy this half. Oh god. Okay, that seemed, that seemed to be able to hold it off now. Add a teeny tiny weight on all of these. Does that affect... Or not. Yes, that does affect whether or not it goes down. Uh, hmm. You can just make this counterweight big instead. Yeah, but thinking. Oh wait, no. After this counter bounces. Oh wait, right. Because this is gonna lock in place anyways. This is gonna lock in place, which means that as you're lifting this, that's gonna come down automatically. Okay. Sure. So that means let's add a little bit more. <laughs> add a little bit more weight to this. Let's see if 22 is enough. It was not enough. Okay. Yeah, 20, probably. 25. Probably because of the friction, right? Friction, yeah, friction yeah. with the wall and um, the pants graph itself also needs to be lifted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My god, that's actually terrifying! Okay, the lock isn't strong enough now. Is the lock? If you, uh, because it's turning. You're right. Oh wow, you're right. Oh my. So we might have to lock the lock. I would say just add a weight in this in this configuration so that. It, does that? Oh Jesus! What happened here? Oh right, this is not reinforced. Reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. There you go. So, just start. Slowly lifts up. Yeah, and you see that that yeah. that part holds in place. What the? F it actually works. <laughs> no way. No way. That actually works. What? Oh wait, I just realized that was at twenty percent speed, which means that it's actually going much faster than. than Actually, need to be. Never mind. Maybe actually, it's. Uh, no, that may, maybe 24. 24. 24. <laughs> right in the sweet spot, maybe. Okay, yeah, that's better. Oh, oh, that's why that's causing problems. Uh, don't climb the road. <laughs> 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 that's just a minor oversight. Um, probably the gap we talked about. <laughs> Oh, it actually makes it over a little bit too fast. Ooh, in that case, I would... Uh, I'm gonna try something like this, just to see if it can be corrected a bit. Okay, how far does that go? That far, so I'm gonna approximate it to be bearish. So it's a little bit less. Hopefully it should be able to not accidentally... Ah, yeah, that's the old, old system. Oh yeah, that's the old system, okay. So that does work. No way this actually works, what the hell. <laughs> it actually works better than I actually anticipated. Because this, that means that this, all this needs is just a bunch of delay yeah. circuits or trigger mechanisms. Yeah. In fact, the trigger mechanisms would actually be a, can probably be attached to this itself because it's like a spring pressure plate. So figuring out how to do that is going to be a little bit tricky, I think. Okay, that one is not necessary. It hits a bend. Oh. But <laughs> that, that does collide with this, oh. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> But if you do it like that, you have to have the stopper, right? Yeah, I'll just put a ramp there. <laughs> Fine. Add position x0.001. Yeah, that fixes it. There we go. Uh, oh, right, we need more phases. Okay, so checkpoint... Okay, that, that might be a few too many. Four... Actually, we only need three, right? No, four. No, we need four, yeah. This one goes to there. This one goes to the bottom of... I don't even know where that goes to. So it's a bit above the. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do one off the bottom layer. So this one's the bottom layer. That's gonna be over this one. So just above the uh, platform. Okay. Yeah. So like bearish. Yeah. Three is going to be bearish. This two is gonna be a little underneath that. Okay. Looks good. That's on the. That's between. That's on. That's in between. That's on. Okay. Uh, let's set these to be triggered. 
the true sequence, true sequence. Ah, da, da, da. There, there, there. Make the split turns first. Yeah. You only need to make the top one, right? Yeah, but I just want to make sure that uh, this doesn't accidentally click back in if it's like... No, if you do just the top one. Oh, you do just the top one. Okay. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Right, remove all, move all, remove all, move all. Oh, wait, crap. But we also have to unlock this afterwards. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So we're not done. But we made good progress. We're making really good progress, yeah. We still got a way to go. When's the thing? Uh, I, they say within 30 minutes. That means that we have to move this steel beam up to here in order for this to be flat. So what would allow that to happen? How do we... we just when gotta... does it need to happen? It needs to happen before A2. So as soon as, it, as the truck drives, we can unlock it, right? Yeah, so where should we have a detection system for that? Uh, that's there. Oh, we put the detection system here. So I'm just gonna have this as a stand-in temporarily. So that's how far we can rotate that. We have to take this. Once that's connected, that lifts, and then this drops. It doesn't even have to be that heavy of a weight, frankly. Just let's do it so that it doesn't instantly snap it. Okay, very small amount of weight to lift both of those up again. So like that, and then how do we lift this up together? So I guess a linear linkage here, very tiny close to the uh, Whoops. Then have this be limited movement. So have this over here. So that's going to be roughly where the anchor has to be. It doesn't have to be exact. It just needs to be enough for it to form that over there. And then we gotta get rid of these anchors. Here. And I can get rid of these. I'm gonna assume that this is probably gonna have enough weight so that it goes the other way. So here, and then have a lever that, that. This is going up, so it's gonna not have an issue with when you have a rope. Okay, so lifts it, then. <laughs> okay, um, it does work though. It does seem like it works. So it flattens out, and then. Oops. Yeah! <laughs> it actually works! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that actually works. Very rare for it to work that well <laughs> yeah. on the first try. Well, first try. Yeah. Not not counting stuff that I actually just immediately broke. So I gotta go I gotta copy all of this circuitry. Move it down here for now. Oh, I, I, <laughs> that's the flag. <laughs> we said that it was tough. We said that it was really hard and we proceed to actually finish it. I wasn't actually thinking we'd finish it. <laughs> okay, which ones need to be copied? It might be that I do need a spring here because I noticed that when this is coming up, this is actually kind of stuck in the up position because I think the friction is causing it to come up with it. Oh yeah. It hopefully lines up. We only have 10 minutes left. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm building it and well, praying it that works. Yeah, I thought it was the reservoir. Yeah, yeah. Next. Anchor there, here, there. Okay, does this hold up by itself? No. <laughs> How would that fold? I'm gonna attach, attach. Fingers <sighs> crossed. It just, that's a really <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> Dog. Yeah. I can't believe this actually works. I still can't believe that this is pretty much 99% working now. It's so much simpler than I thought it'd be. Oh, I forgot to add that. What? I forgot to add a release system. Oh, yes. This. Yeah, because it's going to ride on top of that. Have a... Uh, because... Oh, wait. We have to have the, this here. Can we just do another oversimple linkage, maybe? This 2.5 meters? Wow, okay, yeah. I guess I'm good at guessing things. <laughs> so... So that's lifting like that, and this, that will do. Actually, semi-slow. We actually have, we have 0 0.75 meters, so I guess. Well, no, we can just, well, we can offset it 0 0.5 from what it is now. We could do that, but that also doesn't mean that it's no longer going to be centered. I specifically did it 3 and 3 on this side. I don't know, we'll have to see. It has 0 0.25 meters. So okay, so <laughs> never mind. Uh, in that case, I mean, I we could just have left the drops down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting there. Come on. Come on. Idea. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I guess it does change the coefficient, doesn't it? I am not, I'm not gonna port it tonight <laughs> because that is. I don't I don't want to I don't want to build all of this stuff. <laughs> all the all the structural supports. This is, this is a lot to take in. What is this one random anchor here? I just noticed it. It's like what is this anchor for? Nothing. It's just there. That is 3-5. We finished it in time, sort of. <laughs> 
we got all the circuitry done. So we managed to finish the circuitry in time for our dinner. The prototype was still not finalized as some of the weights were not set in the correct values, but the mechanism was complete. Let's do a summary of what we've made. As discussed before, the pantograph is used to move a pair of platforms together. The pantograph starts in the highest position. Here we have the lifting mechanism, which will push the platform up. The lifting mechanism is powered by this weight, which is just barely visible on screen here. As of now, the platform is currently disconnected, so to prevent the lifting mechanism from exerting any force upwards prematurely. Each platform is guided using three Porcelier Lipkin linkages in order to allow it for it to travel up and down in a straight line. When the previous platform rises, the current platform lowers until it reaches the bottom. Once it reaches this point, the mechanism here folds in, and the middle of the pantograph is locked into place. In the meanwhile, the platform also now locks with the lifting mechanism. The module is now ready to lift. Here, we have the shock absorbers to cushion the impact of the truck driving into it. When the truck hits the wall, it knocks over this mechanism, which is the trigger that begins the whole operation. The trigger releases the weight on the lifting mechanism, and the platform starts to rise. In the meanwhile, you have this mechanism here, which will reverse the operation of the locking mechanism for the pantograph. However, the weight that powers it stays suspended by the lifting mechanism, and thus does not activate. Once the lifting mechanism finishes, however, the mechanism folds, releasing the weight, and activating the unlocking mechanism. It takes time for the truck to go to the next module, which buys the unlocking mechanism just enough time to activate and allow for the next module to behave as normal. This whole operation of lifting, locking, releasing, and unlocking occurs at the same time as the next module is being prepared to lift, allowing for the modules to work seamlessly with one another. The last lifting mechanism does not have enough room for the original trigger, so an alternative design was used. So, the hardest part was done, which was the entire mechanical circuitry. But, we're still not quite finished. It's been over a month since our birthdays when our recording session happened, and I've only now collected enough courage to tackle the last step, turning the prototype into an actual functional bridge on the original level. Now, to some of you, this probably doesn't seem that hard. We've already built it one-to-one -one scale after all, but as it turns out, that would take another hour and a half for me to actually finish. So the first thing I did was go back to 3-5 and take some measurements. I used the Twitch extension mod to load level in my sandbox and then wrote down the locations of different level assets. After that, I went back to the prototype and started readjusting the entire bridge and the level parts, such that it would match the original level. Right around now, I ended up realizing that Palfly and I had an oversight. We didn't account for the rock that existed in the middle of the entire span. This meant that I had to begin readjusting parts such that they could actually work around the rock.
after I got that finished, I carefully copied the new design to the other modules. With the design now compatible with the level layout, I began slowly converting the anchors into proper bridge supports. This part ended up being incredibly nerve-wracking and meticulous, considering if I made a mistake in placing the supports, troubleshooting was going to be a headache. What's worse is that I wasn't completely certain how much load was put on each of the anchors. Some were just used to guide, while others had to bear the entire weight of the truck and its counterweight as well. It was quite often that the cables being used to hold the bridge just snapped immediately from the sheer amount of weight of the bridge itself had. Now, at some point, one of the mods that I had ended up experiencing a major bug, and my game started to break. This wasn't the first time I experienced this, but I knew that if I didn't react fast enough, the game would just become overloaded and crash. So I ended up saving the level in a panic, and when I reloaded, I lost all the colors. But at least I didn't lose the level file. I was just going to have to continue solving the problem more or less blindly, and thankfully, after a lot of fixing and praying, I managed to get it to hold its own weight at a stress level of 100.0%.
So there you have it. It's been one of the most incredible experiences I've had playing Polyverse 2. Thank you to Valfly for taking the time to come meet me, and I'd love to do more collaborations like this in the future. But anywho, my name is Arglin, you're a local Turco Poly engineer, and have a wonderful day. Love you all. Bye bye.